What will our planet look like in a hundred years? Well, I guess that depends on what we do in the next 10 or 20. Oh boy. Uh, what will the planet look like in a hundred years? I mean, I think it depends on us. I mean, I really do. I think it's, you know, the next few decades is going to determine what the planet looks looks like for the next several million years. <laughs> Probably not what we can imagine. Um, if you ever watch like these movies, like Blade Runner or Back to the Future, and you realize where they think you know technology and the planet has taken us, it's off, often wrong. I mean, it's often extraordinarily wrong. That largely depends on how we. Uh adjust to how we're living on the planet right now. I'm hopeful that our planet will look great. I'm hopeful it'll be covered in solar panels and uh, have a lot of electric cars running around. Um, but I'm not really sure that that will happen. If we do nothing, it's going to look horrible. Uh, the oceans will turn acidic. Uh, it'll be uh, mostly dominated by jellyfish. All the big ocean fish will be gone. You know, we know that the oceans control weather patterns, and we haven't got the foggiest idea still about how they're changing, but they're changing rapidly and dramatically. And that's not good for humans. We don't like change, and change is coming. Wow. You know, the track we're on right now, I think one thing is certain our planet will have far fewer species on it. That's like knocking one card out of a house of cards, and the question of what will the rest of the falling of the cards look like, uh, that, that's really hard to answer. The ecosystem I know most about is coral reefs, that's my specialty. And right now, if you go to a reef in Indonesia, you might find as much as 150, 200 species of coral. Um, in a hundred years, you might find half as that. I think a lot of species may be on the brink or gone uh, already, like, for example, the rhino and the elephant, they may only exist in in zoos. You know, we're, you know, we're losing plankton, some people say, at the rate of 1% a year. Plankton is not just the base of the food chain, it's responsible for two out of every three breaths you take. You know, you might not see, not, never seen plankton, you might not have, uh, you know, have any experience with it. You never, maybe you've never been to the ocean, but your life depends on plankton breathing. I'm a little bit more optimistic. I tend to be an optimist. I try to be an optimist in all deaf environment. I'm very optimistic about the future of the planet. The planet will be perfectly fine. The planet was fine with the dinosaurs. The planet has been fine since the dinosaurs. The planet, the planet will be perfectly fine. Uh, the question that I think should occupy more of our attention and uh, bring us together to talk about practical things forward is what about these societies and economies and ways of life that we have built in, everywhere around the world from the, the most modest to the most developed as those underpinnings shift around. The cascade of consequences into convenience and security and economic viability of human society is where I think the real issues and challenges possibly clashes, but maybe also possibly spurs to more creative and productive action will come from. But the planet will be fine.